students, let us learn about vegetative propagation in plants. In some plants, vegetative parts such as roots, stems and leaves produce new plants. This method of reproduction is known as vegetative reproduction. These plants possess the same characteristics of the parent plant. It helps in rapid propagation. In the plant bryophyllum, leaf is broad and has notches at its margins. Buds arise from the notches. These buds drop off from the leaf and grow into new plants. Each new plant has a bunch of roots and small leaves. In the same way, leaves of begonia also give rise to new plants. You find small plants around a curry leaf plant. New plants arise from the roots of the curry leaf plant showing vegetative propagation through roots. Plants like sweet potato and tapioca have swollen roots. Food is stored in these roots. They are called tuberous roots. When these roots are cut and sown in the soil, they produce new plants. In potato, onion, ginger and turmeric, the shoot or the stem is subterranean that is it grows under the ground. So it is called modified underground stem. When cut into pieces and put in the soil gives rise to new plants. The food materials that are stored in the stem are used for vegetative propagation. In ginger, the stem grows horizontally in the ground. Nodes and some scales are found in the stem. Finger-like projections arise called buds. If a piece of ginger along with the bud is planted in the soil, it develops into a new plant. Some plants like grass spread on the ground. We find a bunch of roots at each node. If a part of the stem of such plant along with roots is cut and planted in the soil, it grows into a new plant. Many types of grasses multiply vegetatively. From the above lesson, we have learned how the vegetative propagation takes place in the plants.